Hey guys, okay, so today I'm gonna talk about the benefits of organic skincare. Now, I'm gonna break it down into six pretty easy benefits and five second disclaimer. I am coming from seven years as a professional makeup artist in New York City. Personally suffered from really bad hives and allergic reactions, bloody armpits, um, as well as working with clients who have had really, really bad, really bad reactions. So that being said, let's get into it. Now the first point is 60% of what you put on your skin actually gets absorbed into the body. Your skin's a sponge, like <laughs> that's what it is. And I'm not just talking about skin, I'm talking about like skin, skin. It gets absorbed. So, you know, especially God forbid you are suffering from some kind of ailment, just be really careful about what you're putting on your skin. And I'm not saying that organic is always better because a perfect example is if you put pure essential oil on your skin, you will get really bad burns from it. So, you know, I'm just saying a lot of chemicals out there are very toxic. In the EU, I believe there's over a thousand ingredients that are banned for cosmetic use. You know how many are banned in the United States? You ready for this? 10, like there's 10. <laughs> That's scary. That's so scary. So just you know, really be careful. And when you're looking at organic, natural, non-toxic formulas, they tend, not always, but they tend to have less ingredients as well as ingredients that you can pronounce. So you kind of know what you're putting in your skin and your body. Whereas a formula you walk into the drugstore, I can't pronounce half of that stuff. And I'm very passionate, so I do a lot of research, but it gets exhausting after a while. Now, the second point is, is a lot of these ingredients are very toxic and there's a lot of studies that show this. Now, I'm going to talk about EWG, Skin Deep, Skin Charisma, as well as my website, againstthemain.com. <laughs> now, these are really good resources. EWG, you type in an ingredient, you type in what you're using, and it's going to let you know all the ingredients from a 1 to a 10, how toxic it is, as well as research studies that actually have shown you know, this product is disrupting hormones. This product, um, when tested with, you know, cancer patients, uh, is not good or diabetics, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there and it's just really easy. EWG has a huge database, EWG Skin Deep. I will link that down below as well as Skin Charisma. I like to use both of them because Skin Charisma, you can put in ingredients, you can put in formulas or, uh, what you're using and it's gonna let you know this is not good for dry skin not good for oily sensitive as well as if it's comedogenic so is it gonna break you out um so it's really helpful and on my website which i will link down below i did an article about the top 10 ingredients you should always stay away from just yuckies in general it's really easy put it down in your notes app and when you're out shopping for skincare or if you're online because i know most of us do are shopping online now just you know just do a quick little skim and be like "Ooh, that has um coal tar in it no thank you also quick side note a lot of people when i posted that on instagram um coal tar is not the same as charcoal just put in it out there okay so number two is a lot of these ingredients especially when you go really crazy like something like coal tar coal tar has been shown that it causes cancer um so you know a lot of these can more so cause hormone disruption hives irritation just not fun things in general but when you're looking at an organic formula, if someone puts straight up essential oils on your skin, you technically can get like a chemical burn from it. Um, even though it's organic, you have to think, you know, an essential oil, let's just take chamomile, very calming, right? But essential oils are hundreds, if not thousands of chamomile leaves that get put into an oil. <laughs> and what happens is, that's too much for your skin. So sometimes a non-toxic chemical is gonna be better than an organic ingredient, and a lot of times an organic ingredient is gonna be better than something like parabens or coal tar. So just, you know, always do your research, go to EWG, go to Skin Charisma. Now number three is it's so much easier to identify what's giving you that rash, those hives, in my case, the bloody armpits, when you're looking at a non-toxic formula. The reason being, I don't know every single ingredient, do you? <laughs> and when you're looking at the back of a typical drugstore label, you're like, what the heck is this? And you have to type in every single thing and it gets exhausting. Whereas most, not all, but most non-toxic formulas, especially if they're simple, you can see and be like, okay, it has soy in it. Well, 
I don't know if you know this, but I know that soy is one of uh, the most common allergens. So it's something that just kind of helps you out and identify it a little bit easier than having to do research on every single chemical that you have no idea about. Now, number four is when it comes to non-toxic, organic, and natural formulas, they tend to have a lot more of what you're buying. So what I mean by this is, let's say you wanna buy a rice toner, right? Or you wanna buy an apple peel, like a peeling mask. Well, if you're looking at a formula like that, you want the ingredients to be pretty high up, right? Especially if it's something like aloe. If I'm buying aloe, I want it to be 100% aloe. I don't want it to be water, aloe, fragrance, parabens, First of all, horrible for my skin. It's gonna irritate the heck out of it. Second of all, why am I paying for that? That's not what I want. So not always, once again, but most cases, you're gonna be actually getting what you're buying. So like I always say, read the ingredients. Hopefully it makes sense to you. If it doesn't, do your research. Um, and you can always message me on Instagram, same handle as here on YouTube. Now, number five is a lot of these chemicals can actually be causing your redness, irritation, clogged pores. Um, for me personally, I was obsessed with Korean beauty, like everyone else, Korean skincare. And there are a lot of amazing formulas, okay? A lot. I am still a fan of Korean skincare. That being said, the overnight mask that I was using had silicones and alcohol and fragrance in it. Now, the fragrance I didn't know because it had a strange name. I don't remember. It was weird. Or it might have said natural and I didn't think about it. Uh, the silicones and the methicone, and then it had alcohol, but not, not drying alcohol. It had settle alcohol, which is actually a fatty alcohol, which is actually hydrating. Weird, I know, but yes, they're hydrating alcohols. But the problem is, all those ingredients were clogging my skin. And I figured that out, and I changed it. So there are a lot of other ingredients that don't just clog your skin, but they can be causing hypersensitivity and irritation. So, like I said, do your research, figure it out. If you have questions, leave me a comment down below, shoot me a message on Instagram. I would be more than happy to talk with you guys about that. Okay, so number six, which is the last one. This is something that, as the years go on, I become more passionate about. Might not resonate with everyone, but I just need to talk about it. And that is, it's much better for the environment. Now, there are some drugstore mainstream brands that are getting much better. They're doing biodegradable packaging. They are doing formulas that don't require as much factory use in a toxic factory. Um, you know, but that being said, most of the time, a natural, organic, and non-toxic brand is doing a much better job with that. And formula-wise, a perfect example is when you go into the drugstore, those apricot scrubs, Apricot, salt, sugar, I'm not a fan of on the face. On the body, okay, on the face, it's too much, it's too harsh, you're tearing up your skin. Um, but when you get those with the plastic beads, and they're like, we're not gonna be too harsh on your skin, those plastic beads are plastic. And when you flush them down the sink, the drain, the tub, whatever, it's plastic and it doesn't degrade. So literally, it's building up and up and up and up, and that's, that's the last thing that we need. So, Oh, my legs are killing me. So I really hope that if anything, if you are curious about organic skincare, or remember, not just organic, non-toxic as well, I hope this kind of gave you more inspiration. And if you're already interested, hopefully this was entertaining for you guys, please leave me a comment down below why you decided to go non-toxic, why you might want to go non-toxic. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and share this with someone who might need a little bit of a nudge, or someone who's curious. I hope you guys have the most beautiful day ever. Bye.